Executive Produce? What kind of game is this? Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Well, you guys asked for it, and that is just a taste of the many typos that are to come in this game. So, let's get started then. Alright, new game, let's go. Executive Produce. <laughs> Not a big fan of the vegetables, I'll be honest with you folks. I'd rather die of cancer. Now to answer the most common questions that you guys asked from the preview episode I did, I fully intend on recruiting every character, going through every side quest, and defeating all of the optional bosses in the game. You know, I am not going to go get every single item in the game because, well, that would take too long and too many of them are nearly useless. So. Uh, but I will go over how to get every enemy skill in the game. Now this playthrough will involve no grinding with exception to limit breaks so that I can learn them all in a reasonable period of time so that I can demonstrate them all to you. So, And finally, I'll try to use all the characters somewhat evenly, like this one, uh, except for a certain feline character, if you know what I mean. Hey, what are you doing there? Hey! I see you! Wow, she actually has eyes in the game! And hands, and fingers, and footsteps, and real clothes. Wow, that's kind of new for 1997, unless you had one of those $500 CD system games, or whatever they were back then. Apparently, we're, the world of Final Fantasy VII takes place in the future! No, no, well, it's a futuristic city, but, well, whatever. They have power plants, and, uh, what else do they got here? Oh, trains, yeah, okay. Kind of new for the world of Final Fantasy. Usually they take place in, like, well, like a medieval times kind of setting, you know, with swords and bows and arrows and all that sort of thing. But apparently in this game we have quite a bit of high technology. I'll be honest with you, I, it kind of turned me off a little bit before I played this game, you know? But once I got into it, it, it was pretty good. I liked it, so. And one thing I really like about this game, it just throws you right into the action, right at the beginning. There you go. All right. And we got to follow the fat guy, so. Okay, we talk to the guard, get a potion. All right. How the fat guy can sneak past the guards and I can't, I don't know. So, here we go. We are ex-soldier! Whoa, these guys have machine guns? And all I've got is a sword? Well, how about I shove a lightning bolt up your ass? Yeah! Yeah, we get magic in the game, so we don't need guns. That's what I say to people who are like, Hey, you get a sword. Why would you use a sword if you have access to guns? Well, if I can set my enemies on fire, would you carry a gun? I don't think so. Yeah, let's talk to this guard up here. All right, another potion. Let's go. Yeah, that little access point is kind of hard to see, but... Got a few other people with us, so let's see what we're doing here. Apparently we're part of a group named Avalanche. I'm a spy! No, no, we're not a spy. Oh, apparently we used to be a part of the military or something. And I'm named after a weather phenomenon. That's just great. I hope this doesn't start a trend. Yeah, I, I don't want to name every single character in the game. Yeah, let's split up so that way we can get ambushed one by one. Sounds like a great idea. And here's apparently the leader of the group, uh, Barrett, I'm guessing is how you pronounce his name. How many names can you possibly, or how many ways can you possibly pronounce his name? And they still got Japanese text on the buildings, so uh, if any of you can read Japanese, let me know, because I can't read any of that stuff. I can read that, warning, apparently they have some English in the game. Where are we?
Okay, well, we don't want to go that way, so let's go up here. Yeah, frame rate seems to be holding up so far. It's been a while since I've had to worry about random battles. <laughs> Have to figure that out, so. Well, we're in a power plant reactor. And something about Shinra. Okay. Mako energy. I'm pronouncing it Mako, not Mako. Sucking blood. What? Eh, they'll explain it later. Don't worry about it. We're at a power plant for some reason. Okay. Oh, huh, okay. All right. And what exactly are we doing here to inform us of our mission, or are we just, you know, yes men here or something? Let's head down here first. And we get our old favorite, Phoenix Down. At least they keep all the items the same. I like how they do that in the Final Fantasy games. So that, you know, you don't really have to go through a whole new learning process. I mean, change a little, a few things a little bit, but not everything, you know, because that can be annoying. Oh, yeah, I should uh, uh, enter the menu with my new character there in my party, but let's see what's going on here. So, what are we going to do about it? Are you just going to complain like all the other environmentalists? No security at a power plant, huh? Gee, that sounds like a great plan. Okay, are those Japanese symbols on the wall there? Huh, okay, well let's get out of here. Okay, now, with my party here, uh, I could put my new character, Barrett in the back row because uh, he, his with weapon is a long-distance weapon, apparently. He actually has a gun. He actually has a head on his shoulders. But I actually want to leave him in the front row there for now, and well, I'll explain why more later. Let's head down here, then. Okay, we got a couple new enemies here. Um, I think we can take them out pretty easily. Cloud's a little more powerful than Barrett right now, so... Well, let Barrett do whatever he can. He'll probably need a couple hits to kill some enemies. Not these ones, apparently, though. Yeah! Got him. Got the classic vi victory fanfare music. Gotta love that. And we... Oh yeah, we have Gil for money in this game now, so. Excuse me if I accidentally say gold from time to time. You know, all the other Final Fantasy games, you know, we had gold. We didn't have gil, so. So let's follow after her then. We've got a few more new enemies, so Cloud's going to go after these guys, uh, Grunts. Uh, you can see what enemy you're targeting by pressing the select button there. And I'm going to have Barrett go after the guys in the back row there, since he has the long range weapon there. And he can kill them in one hit, too, so that's kind of nice. Unfortunately, we are a little slow. I'm not used to being this slow, because... I usually like having haste on my party members, but we won't be getting that for quite some time. Alright, let's just go through that. And you can actually pick up items. You don't have to get everything in a chest now, so that's kind of nice. Let's head down here, then. Okay, fast forward, climbing the ladders. Sorry. I don't have time for all that stuff. Okay, there's our first save point. At least I think that was our first save point. Yeah. Okay, well, we're just about out of time, but I might as well explain something here. Uh, see, we got these thing this limit at the bottom there. That's called a limit break. It's a meter where, as you take damage, it fills up. And once it fills up, during battle, you can execute what's called a limit break, which is essentially a more powerful attack when 
a character is pushed to their limits. So um, that's why I'm keeping Barrett in the front row because I want to I want him to actually take a little more damage. That way his limit break meter will fill up a little faster there. So we got a boss fight up ahead. So I'm gonna stop here. And that's all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.